get over this thing. Those things happen all the time. You know, I think I should probably go talk to him. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah. maybe I should get up and go talk to him. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I'll say something. I'll say something. Angel, what are you doing? Just looking at some old pictures. It was Dad's wishes to be buried with some family photos. You knew this. What the fuck are you talking about? It's ridiculous. You never said anything to me. You have no photos of me here. You have no photos of Susie. Are we gonna bury Dad with just ones of you? I mean, I mean, I have my, my phone. I guess I could. You know what? I'm not burying my phone with Dad. I'm sorry. It's a bad idea. Andrew made my decision. No photos in the casket. I'm sorry. This conversation is over. Why are you getting so irate? Relax. Stop it. Andrew, Calm give me those pictures. Down. You know what? I don't care anymore. These are going with Dad. I fucking had it with you, bro. Grow up! Andrew, these photos are not only an insult to me, they're an insult to him. No photos in the casket. Not now, not ever! God damn it, Jonathan. Can't you behave for just once in your life? I told you not to smoke a joint before family events. You get so agitated. Me? Not me. Uncle Jonathan. It's Andrew. Andrew Uncle, brought the picture. Uncle pictures. Jonathan. It's his fault. Uncle Jonathan. I need what? your help on Monday. I need. Oh, hell no. I, Uncle Jonathan, I need you to be my lawyer on Monday. Fine. I, I see what you're doing. Andrew. Andrew. You want to go ahead and put pictures in the casket? You pay for the funeral. I'm late. I'm sorry. Susie, I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, so thanks, Fern. You just miss Jonathan losing it. Her I loss? Don't know how you put up with him? Her loss? It's my loss. It's my father who died, not Susie's, Fern. You see, I've come to be with my friends, and this is how Jonathan treats me. Well, I'm sorry if I offended you, but I don't remember inviting you. Since when do I need an invitation to a funeral, oh. Rabbi? Do I need an invite? Well, you know, respect is always to be shown to the deceased as well as to the mourners. Mm. The lamented should be treated with compassion and kindness. Mm. Jesus Christ, Rabbi, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a good thing I'm not paying you by the hour. Actually, you are. By the hour? Oh my, you are a crook. I do the service for free. I'm studying the Kabbalah. Mm. I'm registered. Mm. The what? <laughs> the Kabbalah, the study of Jewish mysticism. Mm. Even I knew that, Jonathan. You don't trust me to perform the ceremony! <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, wait. Get your goddamn hands off my wife! What are you talking about? I saw you! You had your hands on her ass! She's all over me! I'm not all over her! <laughs> you, you keep away from my wife. I'll tell you what. You want me to keep away from your wife? Then you keep her out of my house. What are you... What is he talking about? I beg your pardon? My computer. In my home. What were you doing? Studying the Kabbalah? What the fuck is the Kabbalah? You know what, Jonathan? Screw you. We're going home. Oy vey. Great timing, Jonathan. First your brother, then our friend Fern. Who's next? Your dead father? What did I do? A real class act, big brother. Nicely done. Thanks again, Uncle Jonathan, for driving me home. Yeah, whatever. And really, thank you so much for helping me out. Helping you out by driving you home? You live a couple houses away from me. No, I mean, you know, Monday. Monday? What's Monday? You said you'd be my lawyer. Sheldon, I did no such thing. Yeah, you did. When? At the funeral. Listen, Sheldon. Listen. You need to help me out. I'm your only nephew. Don't remind me. 